hi guys welcome back to my channel it's lolo beauty and before we get started i just want to say everything in this video is alleged so i am just so 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 happy for arma and regine um they're in cancun they spent valentine's day together in cancun and the vlogs have been lit and it has been so romantic from the beginning since they have landed from all the vlogs we have been getting i feel like i love that they're in this comfort comfort zone like and it's, it's almost seems like you know like it's always a freshness um in a relationship that eventually fades away the freshness has faded away they are together they are calm they're in love and i feel like they're in their zone and i love that I feel like they have just found their their place like they're meant for each other and they letting everybody know they let it be known um i love the post they did of each other on valentine's day our month thank Regine. He said Regine made him a better man and she continued to do so each and every day. That's right. We need more men to honor their women in that way to let us know that we do stand behind them and make them better men. Well, some of us. And I feel like that was just really beautiful for him to express that not only to Regine, but for him to even just post that on Instagram to let us know this is the way that I love her. This is how I'm coming about her. It was really, really beautiful. And of course, we already know how Regine feel about my man, my man, my man, my man. But yeah, it was really, really cute to um see that. And is it just me or when they go on vacations, they outfits be like fire. Like they always like pick out the cutest matching outfits when they put on that all blue drip for valentine's day they valentine's day dinner i was feeling it i was like they the glowing the the brown skin oh my god it's just i love it i love them i love them together they are so beautiful together and i love that our man was like babe we ain't been out the country in like two months since been that long and the fact that they have been really experiencing so many places, so many islands together is uh, it's, it's special. It's beautiful because we all know our mind wasn't traveling like that, you know, before Regine. And the fact that they are doing it together. And even Regine said she hit a lot of places alone when she was going through, you know, trying to find herself and love herself properly. You know, she had to do a lot of self-care, a lot of self-love. And she would... Uh, travel alone and so I love that they're sharing these experiences together and you know our mind was like it seems like everywhere we go it just gets more beautiful like it just always be like oh my god this place is gorgeous so I love that um the gratitude it was it was, it was really beautiful and um it's still still impresses me that every time Regine gets her hair done he loves her he gonna hype her up when I tell you when I seen her little Chanel bag and that vlog on the table I was like "Ooh, the Chanel is Chanel and he was like babe in the bag in the bag I was like oh you right our man you better you better hype your girlfriend up you better let her know she is all of the above and that is exactly what he be doing but I just love that I love that they sharing these experiences together I love how comfortable they are together and you know Oh my God. And the gift that she got our mom for Valentine's Day that she said, I don't really want to fly with us. So I'm going to give it to you early. And it was something that, like I said, she always pay attention and he always pay attention. That's the love language that a lot of couples should learn and you should want before entering a relationship. You should want a man and or a woman that's going to listen to you, listen to things that you want and, um, and remember it. You you understand what I'm saying? They like take notes of things they have may maybe discussed months ago, and the fact that she knew our man wanted this particular thing, it was a jewelry box. It was like a designer jewelry box that he loved, and that he can keep all his jewelry in. And he was so excited every time he do that little scream. Regine, they know that he is just so excited. And then our man took him a real little baby shot. On their little vacation together, their little Valentine's Day vacation. I was like, okay, our man, you better turn up with your bae. And <laughs> he definitely was turning up. And I'm telling y'all, I feel like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like in two, 2023, 
um this valentine's day was a win-win like i feel like just in the world in general i seen more I, I i didn't see as much of of i need a gift or i'm sad because i didn't have this or i spent my valentine's day look it, i was at work yesterday i spent my valentine's day at work and let me tell you something um this young girl came up to me and she said how y'all spent y'all valentine's day and i was like um i spent it with my sons my little sons was my valentine's day i made them little baskets and i went to dollar tree y'all and i got their favorite candies and then i went to walmart and i got them a really nice little bubble machine each to put in there and it didn't cost me nothing really to do that it was you know it was just from the heart and it was special and um that's what I I, I did baskets for my sons and that's all I needed and I took my butt to work and when I went to work and she asked me that I told her like my sons was my valentine's she said well I didn't have a valentine's day this year and I said and you know what you know where you at on valentine's day you making your money so when you get your check you go buy you some nice and then it's married couples that are celebrating on the weekend and then some people they got their little roses and I feel like it was just so calm cool and collect this year I don't feel like people was doing too much I didn't see a lot of sad people I didn't see a lot of overly you know crazy people that's just putting all this craziness on and i felt like it was all truly about love and about respecting love and honoring love and that is what i loved about this valentine's day the most i feel like the world is finally getting it like um it's not about always you know just receiving something sometimes it's about giving things sometimes it's just about showing your love for yourself showing your love for your mom showing your love for the people that you love the most it's not always about your significant other but it's about it all 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 people all walks for all things and so um I just feel like this Valentine's Day, I just felt a lot of love and a lot of calmness. People were very settled in who they were and the positions they were in. And, you know, if they were at work or if they, if they were married, you know, this one lady at work told me, you know, my husband bought me a pair of slippers, bedroom shoes, and they was furry and they was cheetah print. And listen, that's, that, that's her love language. That's all she needed to make her Valentine's Day amazing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, y'all. I cannot wait for more vlogs to come. They have been doing what they said they wanted to do in 2023. They have been showing up and showing out. And um, like I said, I love this beautiful couple and I'm going to continue to support and zoom in on them. But y'all like, comment, subscribe and let me know down below. Are y'all feeling the content or are y'all loving it? Was it so beautiful how they spent Valentine's Day? How did y'all spend Valentine's Day? Y'all let me know down in the comments below.